Hello, I'm Matt Loganville from Tooth and Nail Armory, and today we're going to show you how to install the aluminum foregrip on the MKA 1919. This is our basic model, no rails. We do have other models available with full top rail, full bottom rail, a five slot here on either side at three and nine o'clock. We're also working on a left side left side charging handle. Uh, that's still in the R&D phase. That will be coming somewhat down the road. So that's, that's what you get in the aluminum forehand and centering washer. That's what we're going to show you how to install today. Uh, start off, field strip your gun according to the owner's manual. You get down, we'll start at this point right here uh, just for the in interest of time. So uh, first thing you do, this has got an aftermarket charging handle. Take a little tension off the spring, you can center this up and your charging handle will come out. Pull your bolt assembly out, spring, and the guide rod, you probably want to put this in a vise if you have that accessible. Uh, this one's already loose, we've had it in and out so many times, uh, it's basically just finger tight tonight, today. But uh, this is why we go down to this point. We need to remove the factory four end back part that holds this plastic stock on. And the reason we designed aluminum, we like to run a four grip uh, with the flashlight. Uh, the plastic four end was just not hard enough to take that. So, all right. Uh, as you'll notice when I unscrew this, this guide rod is bent. Uh, this gun is fired. Well over a thousand rounds and it has been this way the whole time as far as we know. Your bagging plate probably won't fall off. I think some of them have a little bit of epoxy or maybe it's just paint that's sticking into the receiver. But you pull the guide rod out and you should be able to pop this right off pretty easily if it doesn't fall off. That side along with your factory forehand. All right. Uh, you reinstall the guide rod. Uh, it may be advisable to put a little bit of Loctite on here and thread it in loosely just for now and you'll see why in a little bit. Put that in, put your spring on. Reinstall. One thing I don't want to forget, there has been a few flaws in the casting right underneath this part. Uh, when you've got yours taken apart, you might look and see if there's a crack in there. Some people have actually had small holes get blown in there, but I believe the, believe they will replace that for you uh, if you call in and tell them that it's bad. All right, so we install this in. Slide that back in. Now, once you've done this, you can... You don't ever have to go this far again to, to break it down. You can do it somewhere like this. Pull out, out just a slight bit. Once again, if you have a vise, it's a lot better to do this in a vise. But not everybody's got one, so we're doing it this way today. If I can get this to come out without flying apart. Get your thread line back up it back in. Don't tighten it up real tight at this point. You may need to make some minor adjustments when you go to put the barrel in. So just, just get that just so it's not quite tight. Go ahead and put your charging handle back in. Once again, it's a little bit harder doing this when you're looking, trying to show it for the camera than it is if you can turn it right towards you. All right, ready to reinstall the the barrel. Pull the bolt all the way back. Slide that in. And we're ready to put on the low. Well, we'll put the piston, the spring, and we'll just slightly put that on just to hold the barrel in. Go ahead and reinstall the lower. Okay, 
And at this time, if you, uh, you should, sometimes I like to put a piece of cloth or something here just to protect the feed lips. If you're real careful, you can get by with it. This lower has already been cut for the AR-15 stock. It's got the stock adapter. And you've got a pig nose that goes on there for your stock to screw in. Um, so go ahead and install this nut. need to put the lock nut on this time we'll be taking it back off once we get the four end on here. The tolerances are real tight. You'll notice that there's a slight shoulder on the barrel that holds the top part of the four end and the centering washer holds the bottom. So this one seems to fit real well. Some of them are pretty tight. You may need to have a slight tap on there with the rubber mallet to get that in. That's why we leave that loose in case you do need to work it around to get it to fit up. This one's fitting pretty good. So we can take that back off. <clears throat> Once again, I won't tighten this down. But then you can tighten your guide rod, snug it up good and tight. Go ahead and re-tighten your barrel nut. Get your lock nut on. And then you're ready to install your aluminum forking. Snug there. Retaining nut on. There you go. Well, bad luck ain't working today. And there's the Tooth and Nail Armory MKA forehand.